I'm here today with Dame Helen Alexander at the FT's Women at the Top Summit at the St Pancras Hotel in London. Um, Dame Helen has had a varied and, and successful career in business, currently chair at UVM. Um, she was also uh, chief executive at The Economist Group for 11 years and she's held a number of board positions at companies as varied as Centrica and Rolls-Royce. Um, most importantly for our summit today, she and Sir Philip Hampton of GSK are now co-chairing the review that has taken over the work of Sir Mervyn Davis in increasing the number of women on British boards. Um, Dame Helen, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. Um, one of the um, issues that was, uh, has been raised since the Davis Review is that although it was very successful in upping the number of women on British boards, that number, which is now 26% on the FTSE 100, has actually stagnated um, since his part of the review was completed. How optimistic are you that you and Sir Philip will meet the aims of the new review and what, what needs to happen for those aims to be met? Well, I think the, fir the first thing is that our review is twofold. Davis looked at women on boards as a whole, um, focusing on the 100 and then moving into the 350. We are doing just that and we've already said that we're adopting his recommendation that the next step after the 25% target would be a 33% target and that's it's not for non-execs it's for women on boards as a whole and that's quite important our second point term of reference is actually looking at the pipeline and what everybody said when the board stuff was being done was oh the pipeline's the really hard bit and actually focusing on the executive pipeline is really really important and we've defined that as the executive committee and the direct reports to the executive committee so you really do start to see the pipeline in that and I think that shining a light is really really important and therefore I think that by actually looking at what we're doing now in the light of Davis we have every single chance of meeting those two briefs. So are you talking about making reporting requirements for companies more demanding or targets for companies for the Expo? Well we've just started this work so we're, what we're actually looking at is how do you how do you shift the needle in those in those layers? And there will be, and we've heard lots today at your brilliant conference and all sorts of other um, times. There's no silver bullet to this. So actually trying to look at where's the data and how have the successful companies really moved their needle and how far down the company does it go? Those are the important things. So there's some really positive examples out there. There are still 14% of the FTSE 100, uh, FTSE 250, sorry, uh, boards who have no women on them. And when David started, I think there was something like 150, and they're down to 14. But there's still 14, and that's not good enough. So there's a, there are a number of areas that we're going to have to look at. And it will be, for every chief executive, it's a package of what they want to implement in their own firm and it's got to be right like that because this is a business-led review it's not a government edict we've got to make it right for business and for the British economy. Okay well we're very much looking forward to seeing what the review um, will come up with Good. and thank you very much Dame Helen Alexander for, for talking to, to us today. Good.